a very good morning you've just seen a beautiful beautiful sunrise and i woke up around seven today so it's it's good because i thought i would be tired after all of the you know plane journey but i'm feeling fine so i will be filming like a room tour video right now which i probably will post as a separate uh video and then i'm going to breakfast breakfast is the most exciting thing for me <laughs> I just had breakfast with the ocean view, delicious fruits. I think the orange one was actually papaya. I don't know, it's just something about um, breakfast that makes me very happy because you have like coffee, you're all set up for the day. And now I'm actually going sightseeing with Visit Kashkais. It just feels like a, a very interesting period of my life to go on these trips and see the amazing places and i'm so grateful that um, all of this has been organized by visit kashkais uh, and team all right here we are exploring kashkais as you can see the weather was lovely we first went to see the lighthouse and after we made it to the sand dunes i actually did post it all of the locations on the instagram reel about this place but because i didn't really vlog much during the tour i can tell you a little bit more now we also climbed another lighthouse and it was really cool because i haven't done that before visited james bone's uh, movie hotel and here i am <laughs> I have just came back from the sightseeing tour in Kashkais and we've seen so many places. I really loved the lighthouse because we climbed to the very top. I had um, ice cream in one of the shops in the very center. It was a sorbet and I just had a call from the reception. But anyways, what I was saying is that we've seen so many places and the streets are quiet, nice, sunny and really nice to explore you know super lucky with the weather but again we are in portugal so the weather here is really good and um, i just have a very nice feeling in this place and also now i will have a spa session uh, in the hotel so let me show you this experience <laughs> I'm now back from dinner. I went to a restaurant in Kashkais where apparently lots of celebrities uh, went as well. They have like pictures of uh, famous people in there. It uh, was um, quiet, I guess, because it's not like a tourism season at the moment, but uh, food tasted delicious as everything I tried so far. I had more uh, seafood and it was nice so now i'm back home and to be honest after the spa treatment i had like the massage i was so relaxed <laughs> and i'm still very relaxed like all i want to do is just sleep because we had lots of walking today lots of sunshine I forgot to mention that in spa there was some a nice swimming pool with warm water so like indoor pool very relaxing as well and i'm looking forward to day two in portugal so see you tomorrow so the day started with uh, going to pena palace which is um, one of the most uh, interesting places i visited because i cannot compare it to anything else and then we made it to old town welcome to day two in sunny portugal a mini update i lost my voice which is very strange but we went to the palace of Pena and it was like beautiful, colorful and now we are exploring more of Sintra because that's how it, this area is called probably one of my favorite places I've seen during trip to Portugal was this Montserrate palace which also had a massive garden it's so beautiful because when you walk in you don't expect much and I was surprised with the interiors and I think it's uh, on a less popular side because most people only make it to Pena Palace and after we drew to Lisbon. The Sintra tour is now over, it was such a 
fun day because we went first to the Pena Palace, then we explored the Sintra Old City, had lunch in a very nice uh, cafe, and we also went to this gorgeous palace. I don't uh, remember the exact name, but I'll definitely leave it somewhere. I was really impressed. The second palace was quiet, there was not a lot of people, and the architecture interiors there are the best. And now, don't even know <laughs> how to describe to you the beautiful hotel that i'm staying right now because it's four seasons in lisbon and it's honestly gorgeous really friendly service and of course i'll make a video about the room as well good morning from uh, beautiful lisbon so basically as um, yesterday I had like a source road, I decided to cancel the um, tour, which I supposed to have this morning. It was like an open car, retro car tour around Lisbon, but I thought I won't gonna risk it, you know, because of the wind, it's not a good idea to sit in an open car. So I asked the uh, Four Seasons team if it's possible to cancel and they kindly did. And then I went to the reception and they offered me to do another tour, but in a covered car, which was so nice of them to do that considering I had some last minute changes and I'll do that instead I'm super excited I thought I would be like walking around the city but now I can have like a proper tour and afterwards of course I can do some walking as well the day started with breakfast at the hotel as you can see it was incredible because the selection was really nice and the interiors and then i joined the tour on a retro car and it was so lovely basically you explore the city in this vintage car and we went to the oldest bookshop in lisbon to some really cool coffee shops and traveling by myself is um very interesting because you get to meet so many people and some of them have real insights into the city like for example this tour guide told me everything about his life in lisbon about hidden spots and what he thinks about tourism in general and he just was amazing person and we also stopped by to get some traditional dessert of course and after I was back to the hotel. So I just had a super nice retro car tour, which I showed you some parts of. We also tried uh, the pastela de nata in a local cafe, which was amazing. And now I wanted to show you the terrace or sort of like a running path at the Four Seasons Hotel at the very top floor. And I think this is the most beautiful running scenario you can imagine because the views there are gorgeous. So the highlight of this hotel is this running path with a view of uh, the city and there is also a gym and two swimming pools, indoor and outdoor for a warmer weather as well as the spa. I wanted to say that I went for a walk, um, not really have like a particular plan, just want to have some free time and see the very center of Lisbon because it's like 25 minutes walk, maybe less, and just explore because um, yeah, I, I'm not tired anymore, I was in the car most of the morning so I can afford <laughs> to walk. <laughs> As for the hotel, I think can be easily be the most beautiful and in terms of the service, the best hotel I've ever stayed because literally everyone knows my surname there and uh, uh, I had a source road in the morning and I went for breakfast and they were like asking, oh, are you like okay? And I'm like, how do you even know I was not okay? So they're all like super lovely and I mean, you saw the interiors, it's um, on another level, like you just feel so special in there i don't know how to describe it but uh, it's definitely one of the amazing experiences i had at the moment i'm going to a beautiful viewing point in lisbon and i'm climbing lots of stairs lisbon is about stairs and like walking down and up the hills uh, but in the morning we did see a nice viewing point but i just want to go to another one as well because it reminds me of my first trip to this beautiful city when i first saw it i was like this is so nice so definitely 
want to recommend to you as well and I'll see how it changed right now throughout the years. So we are now in a very popular place, it's a um, square, I think it's called Comercio. I just uh, met uh, a girl and I was helping her filming videos and she helped me also film reels. So whenever I walk alone there is still a possibility to meet someone, to talk to someone. Not that I miss that part a lot to be honest, I'm fine um, and enjoying company by myself. And I just had also like lunch but I bought some pastry but I'm now going for savory pastry because I realized that the reason why I was eating so much sugar is because I like eating on the go and it's something that's super accessible so for example I have like a, a croissant on the go or pastry that is sweet but now I'm looking for savory which is still not the healthiest option but you know an alternative and if I am eating sweets I'm not like banning them completely I'm eating but if it's something unique you know like today we ate Pastela Donata from one of the most famous places here in Lisbon, just right from the oven. Of course, I'm gonna have that, you know. I then went back to the hotel to experience the spa. They have a really nice indoor swimming pool. I also noticed that the changing rooms are very spacious and nice. Next morning I saw beautiful sunrise, had breakfast at the hotel and continued my adventures to a new destination. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very very soon.